Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and before I get started with this demonstration, I'd like to thank Mike Austin from Vectology.com for providing this awesome artwork. So what I'm going to show you today is what we call dynamic reparenting. And if we look closely at this character, uh, he's fully rigged with bones so that he's very easy to pose and move around like so. And if we look carefully, we'll see that he's got this really big thing mounted on his back. It's sort of a futuristic rifle. And currently, it's assigned to the upper chest bone here, so that when you move the chest, the rifle that's mounted on the back moves accordingly. But what if you want the character to actually grab his gun and draw it so that he can actually use it in combat? With Spryder, this is very easy with dynamic reparenting. What that means is at any point in your timeline, in your animation, you can change which sprites or bones are a child of other bones. So here's a sort of quick step-by-step -step review of what I did to make this animation happen. Um, all I did was start with the first keyframe of the idle animation, where the rifle is currently a child of the upper chest bone. And then I dragged over on the timeline, and I rotated the arm to start to get that into place. Further along on the timeline, I should turn off the uh, looping mode so that it's not trying to tween back to, uh, to the idle ahead of time. So then I just got the hand. As you can see, I got the hand in roughly the right place to grab the gun. And so this is the point that I'm going to need to change the parenting, okay? So all I have to do, if you ever want to make a bone null or something, like a sprite or a bone, no longer a child of a parent bone, you can simply click on that parent bone, press B, and then click on the thing that is currently a child, and it'll no longer be the child. But in this case, all I really need to do is go on the timeline where I want to change the parenting, click on the new bone I want to be a parent, hold B, and then click on the bone that I want to now be a child of that. And you'll see that when I hold B, that red line has appeared, letting me know that now the upper arm bone is a parent of this uh, rifle's main bone. So now when I rotate, uh, or now when I uh, go further in the timeline and start to bring this arm out, we'll see that the rifle is now assigned to the bone. And all we have to do now is start to rotate this rifle bone to get it in a more appropriate uh, alignment with the hand as though he's using his hand to manipulate the uh, position of the gun and continue to bring the arm down, something like that. So yeah, there you go, we'll scrub along this timeline, you'll see he seamlessly grabs the gun and the gun, which is in itself a series of several sprites and bones, is now a child of the, the arm bone, the upper arm bone. And now we can just go further along in the timeline and make the separate sections of the gun itself, which in themselves have their own bones, and make the gun open up however we want to, and maybe click on this sprite here. Oh, I have sprites locked. Unlock the sprites. Click on the sprite and use the arrow keys to drag it forward. So now the gun itself has a fairly sophisticated uh, animation, all the while being now assigned to the upper arm bone. And while I'm speaking of the rifle, I should mention that I just hacked together rotated and stretched pieces of the robot itself to uh, make this rifle for the sake of this demonstration. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos.